Welcome to my lecture online. Continue with our examples. Here's our next one. We have something that's definitely in the quadratic format, in the general format of ax squared plus bx plus c. We don't have a 1 in front of the x squared term, which makes it a little bit more difficult to try and factor it, so we may want to use the FOIL method. So in the front, we have the possibility of 2 times 1 or 1 times 2. So there's only two possibilities. On the back side, we have 7, which can only be obtained by 1 times 7 or 7 times 1. Now, what about the signs? Since this one is positive and the middle term is negative, that means both of the numbers we're looking for must be negative numbers. So it must be negative 1, negative 7 in that particular combination, one or the other. So now, what combination will give us the correct factored form? So it looks something like this. And so let's take a look. We want a big number. So I think the 2 times the negative 7 gives us negative 14, which is almost what we need for the middle term. So it looks like that's probably the combination. And then, of course, 1 times the negative 1 adds up another, another negative 1. So it looks like this and this will give us the right combination. So 2 times the negative 7 plus a 1 times the negative 1. Negative 1. That is equal to negative 14 minus 1, which is negative 15. And of course, that's the middle term we're looking for. That's the right combination. So we could say that the factored form would be 1x times plus negative 7, 2x minus 1. So that gives us uh, a 1x minus 7 and a 2x minus 1. And notice when I multiply these two together, I get a positive 7. x times, ooh, something is not right here. Uh, oh no, it is right. So x times a negative 1 is negative x. It's negative 7 times positive 2 is negative 14. That gives us negative 15. And yes, that looks like it's correct. Now we're not done yet because we're looking for x. Notice when we multiply an x minus 7 times a 2x minus 1, we get 0. That means that either x minus 7 must equal 0 or 2x minus 1 must equal 0, which means that x equals 7 is one of our solutions, or here we have 2x equals positive 1. When we divide both sides by 2, we get x equals 1 half as the other solution. So here's the two solutions to our quadratic equation, either x equals 7 or x equals 1 half. Now, what if we wanted to check to see if we did it correctly? What we could do is plug these numbers back in the original equation to see if it adds up to Zero. So let's try that. Let's do a check. So first we're going to get 2 times 7 squared minus 15 times 7 plus 7. The question mark, is that equal to zero? So 7 squared is 49 times 2 is 98. 15 times 7, that's 70 plus 35, which is minus 105, and then plus 7. Is that indeed equal to, to zero? Well, 98 plus 7 is 105. 105 minus 105 is equal to 0. So that's checks. That is OK. What about the other one? Because just because one is correct, that doesn't mean the other one is correct. So let's try that one. So we're going to check the second answer. So here we have 2 times 1 half squared minus 15 times 1 half and then plus 7. Is that question mark equal to 0? So 1 half squared is 1 4 times 2 is 1 half minus 15 times a half plus 7. Now 7 can be written as 14 over 1 half. And the question is, is that equal to 0? And you can see that a 1 plus 14 is 15 minus 15 is 0. And so sure enough, both answers check out. And that is one way to see if the answers you got are indeed the correct answers. And that is how it's done.